Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug Electronic Repair Day. Hi, Premier on YouTube. I'm here with you again. Um, this time to test out the uh, Sony Bloggy Touch. Uh, one of the reasons I want to do this little comparison um, is because these are, are well, you can get you can get the Kodak cameras pretty cheap too. But these these are 13 megapixel cameras. These are really good cameras for the for the uh, money I think because uh, you can you can find these on eBay all day long for uh, 20 bucks shipped so you know that's that's not a bad price for a decent camera like that so what I want to do is basically again the same the same um, the same um, test I did with the uh, play touch I'm gonna set my uh, uh, camera boom up here to do the exact same thing of course I will have to reset it some here so let me get that done and I'll come back to you now turn it on that's something I usually forget to do so well, first I'm gonna do the 8 inch uh, from the surface I'll do that first might move this up a little bit Now this is going to be just one camera, so I won't have to worry about uh, doing a side by side comparison or anything like that. Okay, that is exactly 8 inches. So now you can see this is basically what I'm looking at right here. Um, it has a lot to do with how much light it hits it, too. I, I've, I've noticed that with cameras, so. Um, anyway, that's at 8 inches. You can see my hand there moving around a little bit. And I'm going to put it down to 6 inches now. I can do this without too much trouble. It's basically 6 inches. Um, get this around a little bit more. Alright, now that's six inches away from the uh, surface, the subject, whatever you want to call it. So that's what that looks like. So let's go down to four inches. Tighten this up a little bit. Get a little loose. Measure our tapes. Goes down a little bit more for inches. I missed one. What do you know? There we go. Now that should be four inches. And still a little bit more. There we go. And we're at four inches. All right. Now you can see the uh, shadow is starting to come over the. Uh, thing here but that's at four inches let me get that centered in there that's nice I think this thing will quit quit shaking a little bit there we go yep, still shaking a little bit part of the reason it shakes more is because the, the camera the camera is pointed out this way and it's not up and down and so it, it shakes a little, it has a little more you know that kind of thing to it all right so that's four inches I don't know how clear it is. I, I can see it on the uh, screen, but I can't tell how clear it is. So we're going to go down to two inches now. I don't think we'll get a good image, but we're going to look to see what we do get. There 
Oh, yeah, okay, there's two inches. Now let's get our thing back lined up here. There we go. So that's two inches away. Uh, once we uh, do the uh, exam on the uh, video editor, we'll be able to tell. But from the uh, way I'm looking in here, it looks like it's it's actually in focus, so I don't know. Uh, again, the uh, light loss of light. I'm going to try a little bit of experiment here with putting a little more light on it. See if that makes it focus any better. So, I don't know if it will or not, but we'll try it and see. So, that's with extra light. So, we'll go back and take that off and see what it looks like. So, yeah, you might notice I'm doing this again a little different uh, with the uh, camera mounted over here. It's on my little gorilla pod. It's the same thing I used up above when I made it point straight down. And by the way, on that uh, last video, I did have to turn those over. It was upside down when I had it pointed down this way, and so I had to turn each one of those over. And uh, I think it came out all right. So anyway, all right, that's enough. I think you've seen seen what we got there. Again, this uh, for those who don't. You know, are looking for a camera that does it all, and, and like I said, um, the the Boggy Touch is an inexpensive camera at the moment. Now it was a, a lot more expensive when it was new, but what camera isn't? But uh, people like Wally was mentioning uh, you didn't have a, a macro camera. This thing will do macro. It, it does speak of macro in uh, the documentation for it. Uh, but it doesn't have a dedicated macro mode like the uh, Kodak Play Touch does. So, like I said, it just does it with the uh, the audio or the optics for the uh, camera, the, the the lens and the focus uh, optics and things like that. That's all it does. So, this is uh, let me put put this over here real quick. Show you what I'm filming with. So that's what it looks like. Uh, you're looking at that. I'm looking at that. You're looking at this. <laughs> so uh, I don't even know if you can see it. Maybe it's down too low. Let me put it up a little higher. I think that's about as low as I can go or high as I can go, I guess, is what I want to say. Um, but you can see both cameras now. I mean, well, I, I, you can't see it at the same time, but. Uh, I may put a split screen or something there so you can see both cameras. I don't know. Anywho, I, lo I love playing around with this stuff. You know me, guys. Um, so anyway, I'm going to turn this off. And uh, take it off of here. That's probably the only... only uh, My only big problem with this camera here is the... Uh, the... Uh, receptacle for the uh, tripod does not does it seems to be too big it's doesn't match that quarter inch like it should now I can screw it all the way on if I take that little thumb wheel off I can screw it all the way on and do it that way which is what I usually do but just for uh, for normal stuff it's uh, you know it's, it's partly because it has to hang out like this instead of going up like that if it was like that it probably would matter but anyway that's about all I've got to say about that. You guys have seen the comparison now. I think you can make up your own mind. But, again, to be fair, uh, this camera here is a 13 megapixel camera. It has a ton more uh, optics and things like that in it. It's a more expensive camera than the PlayTouch. And uh, so... That gives you a good comparison, though, of the two. I mean, like I say, they're about the same price right now used that, uh, you know, if you want to go out and buy them. I think I paid, I don't know if it was $20. I believe I did pay $20 for this one here. But this is the 8 gig. Uh, the uh, Bloggy Touch comes in an 8 gig and a 4 gig model. So that's probably the only difference in them, I think, is the amount of internal memory. Uh, they don't have a place to put a, a card. So you're limited to whatever whatever comes with the camera so 
that's about all I have for now. And this is a rarity for me. Uh, I haven't done this in a while. I uh, do uh, two videos in one day. But I have nothing to do. It was a uh, pick up and drop off for the girls today. I just picked them up at school and dropped them off at CVS. And that's usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays I do that. And that way their father gets off right after they get there. And, and uh, well, he's the boss. He can take off whenever he wants. <laughs> but, but he usually leaves right after they get there. And uh, so saves him a trip over here at my house. Not a big tri trip, but it's a little trip. I mean, you know, it does save him some, uh, some time to do that. So, anywho, that's about all I have, guys. Um... This is going to be a quiet night for me, I think. My grandson has not come home yet. And I do have a, a video or two to watch. It's not a, not a YouTube video, but uh, I watched a Scorpion TV show. Uh, I use, always download the episode uh, from the night before, which it was on, on, on the air yesterday. Because, like I said, I don't have a TV subscription service at all. And... Uh, so I did that. And I was also, earlier, while I was doing my lunch, or my brunch, whatever you want to call it, I ate about 10. Um, I uh, watched Gold Rush from Friday. I hadn't done downloaded that and watched that yet. I kind of like that show. That's kind of a fun show. Uh, I've watched it since the beginning. And uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really a big reality-type TV person. But uh, I do like that show. That's kind of a neat show. Um, so, for what it's worth. And that's a, that ought to do it, guys, for now. Um, probably the next video I make will be probably back on this uh, Zenith radio. And uh, take that switch out again. And uh, Wednesday, I, uh, not tomorrow, but next Wednesday, I will be ordering the switches for that, I think, if I have enough moolah. It comes down to moolah, people. You guys know that. I know you guys that's uh, on Social Security know that. Um... But uh, I'm not complaining. I, you know, I'm doing what I want to do. So it's all good. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. See ya.